everybody and welcome back to AGP. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but tonight there might be fights that are delightful because tonight we're going to discuss if it's so, is it a Christmas movie or is it not? And is there snow? With me to have this wonderful discussion, of course, is going to be my friend, my right hand, the wonderful ever smiling cat herself, Cassie. Yeah. Hi, Hi dog. And oh. then the man who, <laughs> oh. not, not you, that dog. Uh, 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 I hear you. I called you a smiling cat for crying. <laughs> okay? I can't call you a smiling cat to call you a dog. What? She said, you know, you fucking know. Look, you, do, can you read that? Can we you know read that read you that? know that she knows. Hold on, hold on. Welcome also to Man Walking 55. Look, can you read that? Hey, welcome Can you me. read that? Hi, I'll read that? myself. Hi, Dad, read man. That. How are you tonight? Hi, Dad, man. Read that. Does that say anywhere? Where do you... No, it doesn't say that anywhere. Dogs are priority. You got to read the chat. There's nothing in the chat. So you get nothing. That's how this nothing. works. Yep. You get nothing. Nothing. I can't do it on Tuesdays. I'm sorry. Any you other night, her. I got you, girl. Any other night. You get nothing. You get your... Thank you. I appreciate that. When it happens. <laughs> she's on the desk, in case you can't see this. Oh, my God. Where is Huel? <laughs> I, I don't know, because he just messaged me in the Discord saying he was going to be here, and now he's not here. So, dishonor on him, his family, and his cow. <sighs> okay. Well, if I get quiet for a second, it's because I'm switching You're off. saving the dog. I got it. <laughs> I got it. So hey, Dad man, uh, went old school Avatar on me today. Yeah, because the missus was on our in the middle of our streamyard being interviewed. So we've never done it twice, two separate ones at the same time. So we, uh, so I didn't want to glitch her. So I just went old school. We have to wait for her to. Come. My phone just went so robotic. Oh my god! <laughs> because they said I would have to pay to add another Avatar, and I'm like, what? So I might need and to somehow replace one of these. Busy, so if it let me replace it. Busy, stop. I don't think so. I think once you have one set, it pretty much has it set. Because yeah, I looked at the same thing. I've got Avatar. Really? Yeah. Because all I do is go to edit, edit. I mean, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It, it won't let me upload another one without paying. Oh. I'll have to log in or something. Yeah, but you should free. be able. You should be able to still. Because uh, I say edit avatar. See, like yeah. now I could be. It's letting me upload. I, I, can't, I, can't, I, I, I can when I have our stream yard open. I can do it when I have a stream yard open. But when I just come from the link, I'm limited. Ah. So anyway, oh man, poor baby's whining. Anyway, so we could get this done. <laughs> Can I, will this work? In what? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm doing something. There you go. Yay. <laughs> that poor dog. All right, guys. So today we are going to have some fun. Wow, I didn't realize. Fizz gig. Oh, that's better. That's much better sounding. There you go. There's Fizz gig Street. All right, guys. So today we're going to answer some age-old questions is it a christmas movie hey what's up bestie hey, Brian. hi how are you doing we're gonna talk about christmas movies are they a christmas movie are they not a christmas movie why are they or why are they not a christmas movie yay so let's bye cassie no I was just about to start. She's like, nope, I'm out. Well, default answer is no. It's not a Christmas movie. Aw, well, be safe driving home, okay? Mm, hello. Don't make me distract you because I don't I don't want you to, like, something happen to you. Oh, well, there's Cassie. Don't judge me. I'm sorry. I messed hey. up. That's all right. B's in the chat if you want to say hi, by the way. He's driving home, so he's going to be listening to us. Oh, Ben. Hello. All right. So let's start with everybody's favorite movie, Iron Man 3. <laughs> what the heck? I don't even remember that one. Why is that one considered a Christmas movie, though? I mean, there's... Iron Man 3. 
Was it released on Christmas? Test his new Iron Man suit out to jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Okay. He talked about how loneliness is heightened at Christmas. So long. The kid befriend he befriends a kid, giving their scenes a ghost of Christmas past quality. And they're so there's kind of got some Christmas themes going on there. So mm. is it or is it not a but that's not the question. The question is, is do you think Iron Man 3 is a Christmas movie? No, because I don't think just because it has Christmas attributes makes it a Christmas movie. A lot of movies have Christmas attributes. That ma'am? Mm, I, do, I don't remember much about uh, Iron Man 3. I think it depends on the context. I'm trying to speak in code because I'm going to uh, not reveal everything tonight because uh, I'm actually talking about Die Hard next weekend, next week. So uh, that <laughs> ultimate <laughs> debate movie right there. So. You know that's on this list. Oh hell yeah, I know it's on this <laughs> list. So it's like you couldn't have a stream. About and there's only one about answer. It. And if anybody on this panel answers wrong, I'm taking you out and flogging you in public. Oh cool, I like beatings. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> public humiliation threatened me with a good time. Mm hmm. Because it doesn't take, I don't see like Christmas trees or anything like that. I I don't consider it a actual Christmas movie. Just because it plays jingle bells and there's like themes of Christmas in it. it there's no Christmas tree. There's no, you know, presents. Unlike the next movie we're about to discuss. So is that three no's? Three no's. I would say no on this one. All right, Iron Man 3, you are not a Christmas movie. Get the hell out of here. But our next movie definitely has a Christmas tree on it, and it's another superhero movie. Anybody want to take a stab at it? Um, Running Man. No, I have no idea. Batman Returns? Yes. <laughs> okay. Batman Returns. Is it or is it not... Hi, Mrs. And Mrs. is now given a puppy treat, so Wait, let's take care of that. I don't even see her popped up on the stream. Oh, this gig. <laughs> so, Fizzy. Hi, Mrs. She did puppy treat first. Then. She, she got a priority straight. She did dog first, then us. Here you go. There's a good girl. Okay, exactly. <sighs> Redeem your pupper treat. Where's your pupper treat? I see Cassie's from six minutes ago and I see Dadman's or Mrs. Dadman's. I don't see yours, Fuel. So, bleh. All right. So, yes or no? Is it a Christmas movie, Dadman? And chat, you can answer too. Is Batman Returns a Christmas movie? Yes or no? Uh, the problem is I have not seen it so long. I really, uh, uh, this is one that I, I have a trouble judging it for. Um, I'm kind of torn with what Cassie said. You know, just because it has certain things doesn't necessarily make it. But it depends on what it is at the time. Cassie, is it a Christmas movie? Yes, I no. I know it gives Amanda the Christmas feelings, but no. It wouldn't, I wouldn't watch that and be like, oh, Christmas. No, no. <laughs> I'll be honest. So, from what I recall of it, I, I, it didn't have the Christmas feel. It, it was so dark and everything else. You, at least there would be some brightness or hope, um, exuded into it of the Christmas spirit. And see, I say it is a Christmas. There's Christmas spirit. There's bats that come out of the Christmas tree, and the button to light up the Christmas tree gets crushed by a woman who is no longer. Did you just break? Are you okay? <laughs> no, fuel, fuel, it is not there. It is not on my stream. Sorry. She just got another one anyway from Mrs. So chill. Yay. You're, I, I didn't see it. So it's um, not in there. I um, literally says Cassie yesterday subscribed up for 42 months in a row. 
Cassie redeemed a puppy tree seven minutes ago, and Mrs. Dadman Walker redeemed two minutes ago. I'm reading the chat right there. Just because you yell redeem it doesn't mean that it gets redeemed. There was nothing there. <laughs> anyway, it is a Christmas movie. It takes place at Christmas. There's a company Christmas party. They kiss underneath the mistletoe and they talk about how it could be deadly. There's a Christmas tree. There's presents. There's a Santa Claus. It's a Christmas movie. Those are compelling arguments. Besides, and then there's the question: What do you, what do, you, what do you buy, Bruce Wayne? Huh. What do you buy him? Literally, the man Batman has returns, everything. What you Batman don't returns, buy him anything. You it, make him does, something. They actually ask, you know, what do you buy, Bruce Wayne? He has everything, and it's Christmas. What the hell do I get this guy? That's what you make stuff. Because, you know, that's the only way it's It is a Christmas movie. Christmas movie. It's got... It's got Christmas music. It's got Christmas trees and presents and penguins and... <laughs> <laughs> and penguins make it a Christmas movie because I said so because that's what my bathroom's decorated in. Snow. It's got snow... It's got kissing under the mistletoe, Christmas party, like Earth penguins in the South Pole, and, not the and North Pole. like in real life, it's depressing even around Christmas. See, that's it's true. Movie. <laughs> so, Batman Returns is a Christmas movie. So, bleh. <laughs> bleh. if you watch it during Christmas, it's a Christmas. Bleh. I'd say no still. I don't no! Oh, it's not my Christmas movie. Fine. Well, how about this one? Gremlins. Oh, fight me. Oh. Fight me. Fight me on this. I dare you. I've never seen Gremlins, but yeah, I would say I've seen enough of it to know that it's it's, it's a Christmas movie. It's, it's got enough. The first the the second one. It's got the heart. What's that? Gremlins. I'm not talking about Gremlins no. to the new batch. I love Gremlins to the new batch. That's I love better. that movie. And it is funny as hell. Star but they don't Star have the like news. Santa Claus hat, right? But yeah. the new batch is not a Christmas movie. Right. Gremlins is a damn cr fuck the whole premise of it is the mogwai gizmo is a christmas present for <laughs> his son this is a goddamn christmas movie mm -hmm. <laughs> everything has christmas decorations there's lights everywhere he's a president there's a tree the gremlins after they become a thing just wreck everything Yeah. And then that out of the blue speech about my dad died in the fireplace try or coming down the chimney because he was just Ain't you got enough shit to worry about right now with fucking little green monsters running around? I really don't have time for you and your poor pity party because your dad was dumb and decided to climb down a damn chimney, got stuck and died. Just what the fuck? Yeah, only the first one is set around Christmas. Don't get yeah, I remember that. I, I had to correct myself. I was thinking Gremlins 2 was also a Christmas movie, but it's not. Because it's set at a different part of the year. Much warmer in New York. Yeah. Even though I could call it a New Year's one just because they start singing the New Year stuff because they were mm -hmm. waiting for, you know, was, they yep. were singing New York, New York, but... <laughs> oh, I thought they were like the he's jolly good fellow. That's what I think of for New Year's. Yeah, but I mean they were it was New York, New York, but like they had like the confetti and the party hats and they were all partying like it was 1999 and <sighs> but yes, so that's the answer. So is that the answer? <laughs> is a Christmas reach. movie. Are it we in unanimous? It is unanimous. Chat, are we unanimous? Gremlins is a Christmas yep. movie. Good, because I use my gremlins as Christmas decorations. <laughs> <laughs> Fight me, Mrs. Yep. Fight me. That is one of those that I... I mean, that's if just you walk it around it Christmas and it makes it Christmas for I, you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's such a great... It, mm -hmm. And even though it's not super slapsticky like the second one, there are just some really great moments. 
I haven't watched it in a long time. Actually. I watch it every Christmas. I don't do anything like that anymore. Every Christmas. Now, here's yeah. another one. No. Edward Scissorhands. Oh, interesting. Kind no, of. that movie's too freaky. No, no. There's a lot of Christmas, but it goes throughout years, doesn't it? Like, I feel like there's whole seasons through it, too. I get that. Mm. I, I smoke too much. Any of these purpose. movies. <laughs> Where are you smoking, B-Rad? Holy you shit. Share. <laughs> share. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot more to that movie than just, like, I feel like that's a disservice to that movie. There's too much for it to just be a Christmas movie. Like it's Edward Scissorhands. Mm -hmm. It's his own that's two thing. News. <laughs> See, I'm gonna say yes. Of course you are. Because it looks like it's like summer, but remember they've got Christmas decorations up. There's decorating the tree in it, and they get their first snow at the end of the movie from You're Edward right, Scissorhands. But it goes on for like months. It's not like it's a a, a week long scenario. He's living there for a while. That's the point. Like he becomes part of their community. I just don't think it's only Christmas. Yeah, but that is a Christmas movie, you dipshit. We're talking about movies <laughs> like, that literally, people say like, are not Christmas movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, well, he remembers this. On this list, Obviously, he didn't smoke enough to forget <laughs> about Edward Scissorhands. This one he knows. <laughs> That's we're what I'm saying, about, right? Like it has some Christmas in it, but it's more than that. We're not talking about movies that we know are Christmas movies, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or White Christmas mm -hmm. or Santa Conquers the Martians. Right. Oh, am I the only one who watches that one? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We're talking about movies that people say are not Christmas movies. First, some call people, that, but some people call them Christmas movies. It's one of your mm -hmm. fave movies. I like it. I like to watch it around Christmas because for me, I guess maybe because I it's the Christmas stuff I remember more because that's when it gets more action-y and it's that mo it's that momentum that's been building through the whole movie of when something's gonna go wrong and it just happens to go wrong at Christmas. Of course it does. Well, um, it's an iconic scene, right, with the snow coming down and Winona Ryder. Like, well, not just that. There's, there's, there. there's. He's sitting. He, he there during the Christmas thing is when he finally gets ostracized, and then he goes huh. to save the kid because the boyfriend's drinking and driving down the road and almost runs him over, and so he tackles him. But as he's trying to get the kid up, he accidentally cuts his face. Right, 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 right. And then there's, and then like he's sitting outside, and the dog comes out, sits next to him, and he just cuts the hair off of the dog, and the dog's like, "Oh, okay, thanks. And now I can <laughs> see. Thank you, Edward. That's great. Woof, woof." Um, exactly. That was that was like Academy worthy performance. That was amazing. That's exactly Beautiful. what that dog did. No. <laughs> And then but he you're did, describing and, literally the half, like, the, the half, the back, like, ten minutes of this movie. That's the only part that I remember. <laughs> Does that mean it's a Christmas movie? It, has it some is Christmas for me, because that's all I remember. It's months long. Like, my favorite oh, was, look. Like, him doing we all have, the we have, topiaries. No, those, those are my, um, those are, those are my cough drops. Fizzy, guess what we have? Fizz gig. Another Fizz gig. Busy. See, I didn't give her one. I shouldn't have gone on and her, given her one. Big. <sighs> oh, Jesus, are you okay? Oh, I don't know what baby. happened. She tried to jump up on the chair and she fell and she smacked her head on the desk. Oh, oh no. baby. <laughs> don't worry, guys. She wants a treat. She's fine. <laughs> she, she's like a kid okay uh yeah i got injured but i really want this so my injury right. is not gonna happen until later when you can coddle me okay cool great <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not, it doesn't hurt that bad it doesn't hurt that bad let's go to the dance it's fine so next movie the chronicles of narnia the first one the lion the Ooh. wardrobe I could see why people would say that, sure. But again, it's so much bigger than that. Not just Christmas, it's more. 
Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no. Go ahead. No, that, was a, that was a complete thought. Good answer, Dad, ma'am. <laughs> well, I see the problem is some of these some of these movies I, I have not watched in so long, so mm. the recall the recall honestly is not there. Um, so from first, what I remembered, I would not say it is. I think it was more about the storybook and and the win. I mean, it had the winter elements, it had stuff like that, but I really didn't see anything that jumped out at me like it says Christmas movie. Do I think it's a Christmas movie? No. Do I understand people watching in a Christmas time? Yes. Now, right. of course, the point where I'm going to get lynched and mobbed. I hate that movie. <laughs> Do you? I hate. I hate it so much. Got it. That ah. Pretty. I mean, at least it wasn't as bad as the rest of them. But uh, just get to the point. Oh look. Yeah, get to the point. <laughs> oh goody. Oh good. It's good. Now. It's like, now, now, here come here comes the Christianity Bible thumping part of the movie. Yay! Well, you need a little Bible thumping. Aslan's so. supposed to be like Jesus. I know. <laughs> Why? Like, Why? Why? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're like Jesus was a hairy man. He's a lion. No. <laughs> Jeez, not touching that one. I'm going to hell. We're all going Merry to hell. Christmas! Yay! Well, since we said no on that one. Harry Potter. No. Again, no. no. Again, so much bigger than just Christmas. Yeah. You can watch that any time of year and not be. I feel, well, there, there's some Christmas movies on here <sighs> that I feel you could watch any time of the year. Like, you could watch Batman Returns any time of the year, but it is definitely a goddamn <sighs> movie. That's a good point. Do I understand people who want to watch it during the holiday seasons? Yeah. Sure. Especially the first, I would say the first one, I, you could somewhat kind of clap because Christmas plays oh, a big I important to, role. I'm not saying that it is a Christmas movie, but I can understand playing it around Christmas because it plays such a big important role, the Christmas thing, because that's where he gets his invisibility cloak. And, you know, it's Christmas vacation, and you realize that even Ron's parents are like, no, nah, you fucking stay at school. We don't want you. I draw this thing about Hogwarts. No, I, I can't flip my thing around, and I thought I could, but my mother got me an advent calendar of Harry Potter thoughts. And, like, so I've got all these Harry Potter stuff. But it's not a Christmas movie, guys. It is not a Christmas movie, even though she has an advent calendar. It's not a goddamn Christmas movie. It's more than that. I have decorations. Yeah, we see this. It's more than that. It's an advent calendar. Yeah, it's more than the month of Christmas. Got it. Oh, we're all the time. I know I'm wearing the Draco Malfoy today. Got it. <laughs> She's like, no, it's not a Christmas movie, but look, I got Christmas stuff for it. Damn straight. <laughs> God. You'll see All me right. wearing them in July now, at Cassie, Geek Out. You may not have an answer for this. Okay. Fair enough. But Dad may might, if he can remember old movies. Not likely, but go ahead. Trading Places. Oh, yeah. I like that one. I consider it a Christmas movie. The Eddie Murphy one? The Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd one with the dirty Santa Claus outfit. Yes. Yeah, okay. the dirty beard. That's the been salmon. a long time. That was funny, though. But see, that one had enough about oh, it. That, that I, I have re recall Christmas from a lot party. of it. The other movies, it says Merry yep. Christmas and Happy New Year. Yep. Yep. Yeah, again, I feel like you're picking out one scene from an entire movie. It's not based on it, Christmas. It, uh, trust me, it, he he's in a Santa suit for. There's a, enough of it. <laughs> yeah, even even Mrs. is like, yes, it is a Christmas. Movie. It would be in the Santa suit as much as like bad Santas in the Santa suit. See, that's a Christmas movie. <laughs> not a family Christmas movie, but a Christmas movie nonetheless. Well, you want a family Christmas movie. Let's talk about a family Christmas movie that people have fought about for ages. Die Hard. It's got to be Die The hard. Nightmare Before Christmas. Damn it. Oh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on. Let's see it. Yes or no? Oh. Christmas movie. Uh, yeah. There's a yes. It's also a Halloween movie. It's it is also a Halloween movie. <laughs> it's both. And, th and that's... <laughs> 
Yes, yes, it is. But it and damn Skippy. I know a lot of people's like, no, it's not. It's just a Halloween movie. No, it's not. No, it's there is not. Santa. There's a whole song dedicated to what's this, and then Jack trying to figure out what Christmas is, and then Jack going, I'm just gonna take over Chris. You ever realize how much Jack is actually the bad guy in that movie as an adult? I think I knew that even as a kid, though. So. Like, he's not a good guy. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Oogie Boogie's the bad guy. Got it. And then I'm watching it again. I'm going, Jack kidnapped, sends Lock, Shock, and Barrel three I'm demented kids to go kidnap Sandy Claus. He's kind of a dictator as well. Like, he just runs the tail. You know, yeah. <laughs> I love just it. Like, he's like, oh, what's this? Me. This is new and shiny. I want it. I will take it. Exactly. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, I got shot down. Oh, what have I done? But he's the pumpkin king. He's, he's royal king. I just, I just like, he's like, oh, they don't understand. Well, fine, we'll just make it our own thing. And these kids are like, cool. It's French guillotine Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My bad. I'm, like, I'm just dying. I'm not, I'm not saying that he's evil. I still want to say he's the bad guy. He's the protagonist. He is who we follow in the story, but he's not a good person. <laughs> He's not like a selfless person. He's not like Sally is a good and Sally's like the only <laughs> Cassie's version of family movie is a bunch of guys getting shot and blown up in a building because the kids are all well adjusted these days. Yeah, I like how I go family friendly. She goes, die <laughs> I hard. said it wasn't family friendly. <laughs> I said it wasn't. Hey, kids, you want to watch a family movie? Can we watch Lethal fuck Weapon? Me Santa, fuck me Santa, fuck me Santa. <laughs> <laughs> it has the chick from Gilmore Girls. That's a wholesome show, right? <laughs> I don't know. I hated that show, so I didn't watch I it. I never watched it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I couldn't get through the first season. I'm like, no. My understanding would be had a lot of drama, so it probably is not a wholesome show at all. It's probably backstabbing and <laughs> petty women. <sighs> so, consensus is yes. I didn't hear Dab Man's for Nightmare before Christmas. Honestly, I boycotted that movie for the longest time. You no. really need to watch I, it. That, no, no, that... wait, wait, just let me finish. No, until a couple years ago, it came back out in the theaters. The missus mm -hmm. want to go see it, so I'm like, eh, I'll go. And I loved it. It was great. And I do consider it as one of those swing movies. It's both Halloween and <sighs> and uh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really cool, especially the terrified people with Christmas. That was hilarious. And what does Santa bring you for Christmas, sweetheart? Fucking, <laughs> fucking head. Doll head, right? Just holding up the shrunken head. <laughs> I'm like, shit. Great. She comes out and the snake's eating the Christmas tree. The wreath tries to kill the granny. The bats are chasing those poor little kids. I'm like, oh my <laughs> god. Look, they're shooting fireworks. At no, they're trying to shoot your ass down, dude. I love that movie. The music, the music is great. The music is just spot on great. Danny Elfman did everything. Wholesome, as in puts holes in some what? people. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's exactly the wholesomeness we need. <clears throat> I mean, oh, sorry. You're fine. You know, it's a wholesome family film with lines like kidnap the Danny Claus, put him in a box, bury him for 90 years, then see if he talks. A family film. <laughs> What's, what's the other line? Kidnap the Santa Claus, chop him into bits. Mr. Oogie Boogie is sure to get his kicks. Yeah, kitchen. It's a family. I'm like, really? Um, I don't think, I don't, I don't think we figure, I don't think us as kids figured out those words yet because we went, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Poor dad, man. I'm gonna wait for him to come back when I get to the first before I get to the next one because this is another one that um, I'm sure he'll have an opinion on. Okay. Sorry, I got back. Uh, Mrs. Uh, had something come up. I had to deal with. So. Hi, um, Mrs. Yep. Yeah, uh, so, what was the question again? Sorry about that. Oh, um, we were still we were still talking about we were we were making fun of uh, the fact that you know Nightmare Before Christmas is a family film with some of the lines like kidnap the Santa Claus tie it, the, put him in a box bury him from ninety years this oh, yeah. talk I know <laughs> it is kind of crazy that it was it's very dark for a family kids movie oh, you know? well yeah family movie. look at who made it yeah well you're not supposed to put little hats on your teeth oh. anyway missus 
that stinks. I know what she means. I don't know. We have a new dentist. Maybe she'll get a new one. I mean, because it, it, anyway. But I but think I, it's a. I think it's both a Christmas and a Halloween movie. I think by far it is definitely. I mean, especially with them having Christmas in the scene and the the botched attempt at Christmas, and you see the fallout of it. You know that. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't call that not, not a Christmas. But movie. don't don't tell it, don't tell me good, that when you watch that every now and again you look at it and go. I wonder what would have happened if you went through the Valentine's Day door. That would have been interesting. I want to know all of the doors, but there's also some follow-up things with them. There's a, a new book and everything along with the Pumpkin Queen. And it talks about Sally's backstory and everything. So mm -hmm. all sorts of cool stuff. Sally's backstory was created. She's a Frankenstein. Apparently, no, she was not. But I'm not going to spoil it. Okay, whatever. It clearly states in the movie, I made you. She goes. <laughs> right, but that's apparently a lie to, to manipulate her. She was brainwashed, but it's just their story later. So, so on to our next family friendly, or at least it was in my household. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas, or is it not a Christmas movie? WrestleMania, what? Lethal Weapon. <laughs> okay. Yay, Lethal Weapon. <sighs> Christmas movie or not a Christmas movie? No. <laughs> of course <laughs> not. The whole thing takes place at Christmas. Uh huh. Does it, does it yeah, but from what I remember, Christmas was just kind of in the back. I just, I don't, I don't, I, it, I don't remember the music. There's a shootout like, in a Christmas tree farm. Yeah, well, that, okay. But that oh, during the big climactic uh, Gary Busey, uh, Mel Gibson and fish fight, there's all the Christmas decorations mm -hmm. and all the Christmas lights. True. I'm I mean, Christmas. I'm going to wrap stuff while I'm talking to you. That's fine. I mean, yeah, <laughs> true, true. I get it. You know, there's heroin smuggling and special forces yeah. and torture <laughs> and stuff like that. But yeah. in all honesty, they focus a lot on the Christmas, the Christmas background they focus on. I mean, they purposely put them in these Christmas situations for this situation. And then at the end, they celebrate Christmas dinner now that um shit uh Riggs is now part of uh Murtaugh's family. Mm. <laughs> it's still I don't know, still uh, to me that's a hard sell Look, on that one. No. <laughs> Not but I'm giving the unpopular opinion for a later one, I know. <laughs> I gotta go, hold on, let me go get my flog stick real quickly. I need to <laughs> you I have this up. ready. Dude. See, in my opinion, Christmas music, Christmas scenery, talking about Christmas. But there's other, it's not like it's a focus of Christmas. <laughs> Look, not theme, every Christmas movie. A binding thing. There you go. It's not a binding theme. It's not what holds things together. At the end of it, it is what holds it together. It's about becoming a family. I think they did that without the Christmas thing, though. If Christmas wasn't involved, it would be the same. Oh, I ripped it. It would be the same. I mean, look. The true, the true story of Lethal Weapon really is, is about Riggs and Murtaugh becoming a family. Okay, mm. and that is more Christmas yeah. themed than anything else. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to have them kissing, thank God, because you know they're not dating or anything, so it doesn't right. end with a little kiss. But it's Christmas, and they get to go have a Christmas dinner together, they get to celebrate <laughs> the holidays together. They're now a family, and you know what? Yeah. Everybody is not too old for that type of shit, right? You're welcome for that. Well, I, I still, I don't know. I st For me, it's a Christmas movie. I watch it at Christmas. I consider it a Christmas movie along with the greatest Christmas movie that has ever been told. Here it is. Yeah. Die Hard. It is not a Christmas movie. It is a goddamn Christmas movie. It even gives us a present of Alan Brickman. It's a fucking Christmas movie. Not a Christmas movie. It even, it, there is. A total of there is a total of 13 Christmas references in this movie. Even one of the lines is now I have a machine gun. Ho ho ho. 
I thought they were referring to prostitution on the streets. No. <laughs> That's why he put a Santa hat on his ass. No, he put it on his head. <laughs> Die Hard is a goddamn Christmas movie. You, it, you could do it without the Christmas scene and have the whole story. Look, yeah, you could do it without the Christmas scene, but no, they put the Christmas in it. They sing Christmas carols through the entire fucking movie. It takes place during a company Christmas party. It has Christmas ho 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 references <laughs> everywhere. Okay. I can't tell you how many people sing, oh, the weather outside <laughs> is frightful, in every goddamn scene, and constantly going, Merry Christmas, 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 Merry fucking Christmas, it's a goddamn Christmas movie! Uh, it's not like... Know. It's not but, like one Merry Christmas. Like everybody's going, Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What are you doing for Christmas? Hey, Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Merry Christmas party. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, yippee ki yay. Merry Christmas, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what had about Twinkies, though? You know, it was a movie about Twinkies. You could make a case it was about uh, things other than Christmas. You know, you then got then Twinkies. You Merry got Twinkie, terrorists. You got the okay? robbery. Then it's a Merry Twinkie. Yeah, but then see. Then Merry Big Girl. <laughs> then it's a Merry I'm playing, the, I'm playing both sides on this tonight. I'm not saying which way or the other. I think on this one. I told you earlier because I. So I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play coy with this one tonight. But I, it's kind of cool. We got a split there. So the, que the angel wrong. question. The angel <laughs> question will never be right answered here tonight. The right answer is a goddamn Christmas movie. I'm pretty frequently wrong, so I'm not gonna say anything. it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, to the Galactic Benevolent Overlords, that was just a humor attempt at that. Please do not take that motion as a serious thing. It was just a joke. Yeah. Among this, friends. Yeah. It's a Christmas party. There you go. Come out of the shows. Have some laughs. Yeah. Somebody See, come out to the shows. Have some laughs. laughs. Exactly. Uh, it's like a most drink? people's favorite line out of that, of course, is yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Mine is now I have a machine gun. Oh, I oh, do agree oh. with that. I, I love that line. I love that. I love, I that, love that. I oh. mean, the, the, the movie, mm -hmm. it's great. Plus, it gives us the gift of Alan Rickman, and nobody can deny getting the gift of Alan Rickman is the greatest treasure anyone yeah. can ever have. I know somebody that said that they uh, only watched it because of Alan Rickman. I so. didn't even realize. So, as a kid, I watched Die Hard all the time, um, and then the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves movie came out, and I never, as a kid, put the two guys together. I thought they were two different guys that I had a crush on, and then my dad goes, you know, that's the same guy, and I went, no, uh and then I went, yo, <laughs> yippee. I will say that he is the only reason I ever gave Harry Potter a chance. I was not going to go. I didn't give a crap about the books or the movies till Alan Rickman as Professor State. Well, I got to go see this now. Hey, now it's, now it's <laughs> and then they threw Maggie Smith in there. And it's like, ooh, added bonus because I love her. She's a, she's, she's a doll. She's a peach. I love her to pieces. But Cassie's wrong. Yep. <laughs> okay, Cassie's wrong. Cassie's wrong. You know Cassie's wrong. Cassie is so wrong. Yep. <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> you gotta get. You gotta get your act together, Cassie. You're wrong. I'm so wrong. I'm right. That's what it is. Yeah. Exactly. So that's how it goes. <laughs> you're so wrong <laughs> they haven't invented a word on how wrong you are on that one it is the greatest Christmas movie ever yes that is second, ha second has to go to um, Gremlins now, I do realize that a lot of people say that Die Hard 2, Die Harder is also a Christmas movie, but 
the first one just think, has all the I the think, first I one has the second, all the references. I will say that I think I will go with this. I think the second one is a harder case to make because so much of the movie did not center, did not keep bringing back the Christmas decorations, the music, and all that to the extent that the first one did. There was a noticeable difference. It happened to be in winter, happened to be Christmas time. You know, you, you had all these coincidences, but you didn't see all the stuff in the airport. You didn't see stuff in the church. You didn't see it. You know, it was all just, you wouldn't have known it was Christmas except for a few scenes. Right. This one takes place at a Christmas party. It mm -hmm. was set up to be Christmas themed. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it a Christmas movie. To a lot of people. Then again, a lot of people focus on to the all robbery the right and the people. other stuff. Okay. Well, even Bruce Willis is wrong. I don't care what Bruce Willis says. He's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I'll fight him. Bring it on, Bruce Willis. I will fight you over this. Bring it. <laughs> Let me get my stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what would be I mean that that I, I was going to keep holding off on that But it just kept coming up Now here's something that I find funny Because as soon as I see this movie Because It's basically a Christmas story But for some reason Some people don't think that this is a Christmas movie But it most definitely is Okay it's Rouged Oh why wouldn't it be but people think it isn't, but it is. Why would it be? It's a, it's, it's a Christmas story. A Christmas carol, not a Christmas story. It's a Christmas carol. Just <laughs> demented. <laughs> You've seen it, right, that man? What, a Christmas carol? No, uh, Scrooged with Bill Scrooged. Murray. Oh, no, I have not seen that one. What? I'm not. <laughs> Listen, I told you, I've told everybody, I, I missed a lot of movies. I miss a lot of movies. My parents didn't go to movies a lot, and I didn't in college, really. I did, too. Don't it's just like, I mean, the missus is Bill making up for Murray lost time. I haven't even seen Miracle on 34th Street and all those other things. Bill Murray has a mullet. <laughs> well, better than having a bass, you know. Okay, you want the greatest... Christmas Carol retelling ever in history. Mm -hmm. oh, Scrooge yeah. is the one. Okay. Where the where the ghost oh, Christmas present kicks him in the nuts. <laughs> well, that's cool. Everybody needs to get a kick in the nuts every once in a while. So keeps everybody honest. <laughs> Our women can't be honest. We don't have that. Yep. You, 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 you need to see that. You really need to see that one, Dad, man. No, I oh. got you. I got you. Uh, let's see. I, I really... Um... I know a lot of people, and I, and again, I can see why they do it. See, here's the thing. Like, okay, I can see why people watch Rent because there is a Christmas season. It starts off at Christmas. You go through the season of Christmas and the whole nine yards. So I can see why, but because it goes through a full year, yeah, I don't consider it a Christmas movie. Versus mm. something like Lethal Weapon and Die Hard and Batman Returns. It's Christmas. Literally it's, Christmas. Time. it's at Christmas time the entire fucking movie. <clears throat> yeah. So like for me and I like and, and, and here's the thing is you know because I, I know some people think Mean Girls is a Christmas movie. Why? Because the slutty <coughs> jingle bells? It's one time they have a Oh my god, this rapper is not working right. What the fuck do I do? Hmm. It's just so what makes for me a Christmas movie is it's really kinda had to kinda take place during the season. And there needs to be references to it. A lot of references to it. 
whether it's a shootout at a Christmas tree farm or now I have a now I have a machine gun, ho ho ho. Uh -huh. Yep. Or unwrap something that's gonna uh, spit out little balls to turn into green little monsters and wreck havoc through the town. <laughs> <laughs> if the majority of the movie take the majority, like three fourths of the movie, takes place, and there's a lot of Christmas references, they're Christmas movies. They may be unconventional Christmas movies because you're not gonna get your. They're definitely not your Hallmark cardboard cutout. Everybody falls in love, has these fucking expensive ass fucking apartments and have really great jobs and they never went to anything ever. They were just given all this shit and everybody looks so goddamn perfect. Yeah. Bullshit. You know, it ain't no Melissa. Uh, what is her name? Uh, Melissa Joan Hart and Mario Lopez with Christmas in handcuffs. Yeah. Which is a whole nother thing. Ooh. Oh, oh, I think I just gave myself my idea for next week. Hey, all right, cool. The ever dreaded Hallmark Christmas specials. I don't really watch much stuff because I'm, I don't really yeah. know. Oh, you, 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 oh, honey, honey, honey. There. Mm. I will give you if you get a chance. There is one movie. It came out in 2007. It is called Christmas in Handcuffs. Okay. Mm, to wow. give you an idea who's in this. Marky Post, June Lockhart, Mario Lopez, and Melissa Joan Hart. Wow, that's a weird combination of people. June Lockhart in the middle of all that. Oh, and honey, she plays the grandma. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. She plays the um Betty White grandma. Uncensored. She's great. The cops come and she's like, I smell bacon. I'm like, oh Jesus Christ. Ah. So um watch that one or a night before Christmas, as in night in shining armor, or the princess switch, or a prince for Christmas. Oh God, I watch way too many of these stupid things. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do. You're tainted. Tainted. <sighs> ah, they're so bad, I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And when you find out that the that the princess switch and the prince for Christmas are in the same fucking universe, holy shit! There's a Christmas rom com multiverse. Yep. <clears throat> now, even though we've gone through the most controversial ones, let we have a few minutes left. Um, let's round this out with movies that are definitely not Christmas movies, but we completely understand if you watch them. So we kind of mentioned like Harry Potter. We kind of mentioned uh, the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Mm -hmm. What would be a movie that you really do like to watch at Christmas, even though it's technically not a Christmas movie? Anybody. I don't watch movies. Well, start watching movies. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, hell, you watch I'm musicals? Thinking... Rent, fair. I gave you one. Probably one of the ones that I think that's a matter of debate. The Miss and I may talk about it later tonight or... Um, that I we've enjoyed. We don't watch it all the time, but when we do, it's kind of cool. The ref with Dennis Leary in it. It was set around a Christmas time and a family and a, a, a thief was trying to escape. And basically a whole family was like, like all apart at each other. And he ended up calling, pulling them all together. It was really, really crazy. Crazy. So.
So. Oh, the ref, Dennis, Dennis Leary. Yep. Yeah, yep, exactly. Kevin Spacey was in it, so. Uh. <laughs> Man, that guy tainted his name so quick. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Dishonor on your cow, dude. Um, I thought it wasn't his fault. Like, wasn't he falsely accused? I don't know. Pretty sure he was falsely accused. I don't know. His game is absolutely mud, unfortunately. Yep, Unfo that's that's the point. Yeah, is once once that happens, it doesn't matter. It yeah, really doesn't. Good. Once it's it happens, um, because it the thing is, is as soon as you hear his name or you see him in something, that's what's gonna pop in your head. Holy shit! We are trying to be professionals here. You see mine? It ain't going off. My bad. My bad. I <laughs> forgot to mute it. Sorry. That about man that. is so popular. He's like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. No, I uh -huh. no, it wasn't even in my hand. It was way over on the other side of the thing. It's like, damn it. Sorry about that. So, one that I watch for the holiday season, whether it's for Thanksgiving or Christmas, Gone with the Wind. Mm. Oh, interesting. Why? I guess because I saw it during the holiday seasons, I connected to the holiday seasons. Oh, interesting. Uh, the first time I ever watched it was on a Thanksgiving, I think. Because I don't even remember what was said. It just seemed like. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it, 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 there's no, I mean, there's Christmas I mean, and then there's New it's Year's. Been and over then a there's, decade. It, I mean, it, yeah, it, it's a whole. <laughs> Three. It's years and years and years, so it's not set at any particular time. Um, it's just, it's just one of those movies that I absolutely love and adore. I actually associate with the main character Scarlet for a lot of things. Um, <laughs> says a lot about my character. Mm -hmm. Oh, doesn't kill all your husbands? No, I'm sorry. What? Doesn't kill it. Well, ah. I know, not technically. <laughs> Her one husband was stupid anyway, and we all know that she deserved to be with Rhett. And then, and then when she finally, when she finally she figures out she belongs, girl, she deserved to be with him because they were both indecent. No, she yeah. didn't. <laughs> both indecent. They were. Sorry, I mean, I feel like you know, don't get me wrong. Um, no, that's a great movie. I freaking love. That one is on my top for sure. Um shit. Uh. Why can't why can't I remember his name? Did you say Clark Tom Gable, Bergeron? Clark, Clark, Clark Gable. Don't oh, get me wrong. Say, I really like Clark. Yeah. Yes, that man. Did Cassie say Tom Bergeron? No. No. Oh, okay, no. Okay, never mind. I was just Look, I, I realized that Clark Gable was not a very faithful man. <laughs> huh. But he did love his wife. He just wasn't very faithful to her. <laughs> um and she knew this. I mean, it, it was no secret. <laughs> you know, like, He's hot as hell. And he said the first cuss word in cinema. Fantastic. Mm. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Hey! <laughs> you said damn to me. Come back. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Tapone. Hi, Tapone. I mean, don't get me wrong. Scarlet in that movie is a bitch. She's a straight up fucking bitch. Right, right. There's another one where it's like they're not good people. They're not like the good guys, right? They're the protagonists of the story, but like Jack and and, <laughs> and Nightmare Freak, they're not good people. <laughs> Some are not them. sure. No, the our two main ones are not good people. <laughs> I wouldn't even say that they're uh, uh, so. I'm not saying they're bad people. They're just not good people. I don't think, I don't think Rhett's neither bad nor good. He's just a person. He just, he is who he is. He he doesn't judge people whether you have money or not. You know, he hangs out with the slums and the hookers um, uh -huh. just as much as he hangs out with more high society people. He doesn't judge people like a lot of other people. Like Scarlet, she judges you based off of well, the way he's I He's out them. for himself. And... He is out for himself to an extent. I mean, the way that he treats Scarlet, the way that he treats Mammy. <laughs> when she lifts up his skirt, he's like, Mammy. <laughs> 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 
So yeah, that's that's my unconventional I do watch during the holidays movie. Is it a Christmas movie? Is it a holiday movie? Absolutely freaking not. Do I watch it during this time of the year? Absolutely freaking yes. And that's mm -hmm. a long movie to watch. Yeah. Okay. Two forty five or is it three? Is it over three? Oh, it, it's it's over three. How long is Gone with the Wind? Three hours and forty two minutes. It's almost four hours. Yeah. Yeah. I know we had the VHS set. I I just remember putting it on and going, I gotta go pee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God Did I didn't watch this at a movie theater. Thank God this damn movie has a fucking intermission. <laughs> you know the movie's long when it's like intermission. Oh my god. Run, motherfucker. <laughs> so so what we've learned today is the Nightmare Before Christmas is both a Halloween and a Christmas movie. We ever it unanimously Gremlins is definitely a Christmas movie. Unanimously, whether Cassie wants to admit it or not, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I don't think you understand the word unanimous. <laughs> you keep using that word, but I don't think it means what you think it means. What do you think it means? What do you think it means? It's the AGP channel. AGP gets four hundred votes, and votes for you too. <laughs> oh. Oh, look, here's Cassie's vote. She voted yes. <laughs> <laughs> now I have the power. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> uh. So what unconventional movie do you guys plan on watching this year? Is there something? That mm, not really. I not don't think really. so. I don't think so. I, if if anything, it might be, it might be an Asian one. I guess if if the missus finds one or something. If anything, that might be a little more in, unconventional. What I mean, I just she. Comes no, up I'm sorry because I, I know I know Mrs. watches a lot of Korean movies. <laughs> I'm just waiting for her to go. Honey, it's time for the Christmas special. We're watching Train to Busan. <laughs> okay. Hey, why not? Great, that'd be a great, that'd be a great one to watch. You know what? That's what we need. We need a zombie Christmas movie. Exactly. Is there a zombie Christmas movie? I would watch Zombie Land for Christmas. I need to watch the second Zombie Land, actually. I need to, too. Huh? What? Anna mm -hmm. and the Apocalypse. Shaun of the Dead meets La La Land. Anna and the Apocalypse is a 2017 British Christmas zombie musical film. Wow. Okay, I'm in. I'm interested. Go on. Directed <laughs> by John McPhill from screenplay by Alan McDonald and Ryan McHenry based on McHenry's 2010 BAFTA-nominated short zombie musical. Um... In Little Haven, Scotland, Anne Shepard is about to finish school and plans to travel for a year before going to university, much to the displeasure of her wood or her father, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to go into too much of it because it actually starts giving away. Oh, my God, there's a zombie Santa. I need to find this movie. Yeah. I have found the new unconventional but totally a Christmas movie movie. Yeah, there you go. This movie, with this, 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 here's the title, Anna and the Apocalypse, find it, find it, zombie wow. Christmas, zombie Christmas. Wow, we'll have to try that then. You hear that, missus? As she was, as she, I don't think she's in the chat anymore, so I don't know if she heard you, she'll have to hear you. I have to or remind her. To... Oh my god, oh my god. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of, Cassie's like, British, Christmas, <laughs> zombies, musical. Sold! <laughs> I didn't even know there was a quadrupt, quad, 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 I don't know how to say that. I just topped in Christmas zombies and it's the first thing that popped up. I was waiting for it to like, have like, you know, the the one with the uh, Yachtsies in the snow. I'm like, that's not a Christmas yeah. movie. <laughs> Great movie though. So, oh my God, yeah, I I need this. So, uh, next year we might have a new we might have a new wiener. 
Wieners. Yes. So, well, on that note, guys, there's some unconventional yet totally could be Christmas movies. Some of them are Christmas movies. Die hard. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Sorry. What? You were just funny. Mm-hmm. It's a Christmas movie. And um, so let me know if you watch this on YouTube, what's one of your favorite unconventional Christmas movies or just an unconventional movie that you watch during the holiday season. As always, don't forget to check out my buddy Dadman Walking over on his Twitter, his YouTube, and his Twitch account at DadmanWalkie55. For more AGP, you can catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and of course over on Reddit. And from our family to yours, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we'll see you all on the next one. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye.